So what's it going to be? Hey. Enjoy. Have a good one, stranger. For this ancient weapon of war is our salvation. It is the very simple... You can tell Tenpenny he can kiss my ass. We've got plenty of bottle caps. Let me in, goddammit. How many times do we have to go through this? You're not getting in. I can stand here all day yelling at you through this damn speaker if I have to. I've already told you Tenpenny won't allow zombies to live here. Who the hell are you calling a zombie? You're definitely not human, that's for damn sure. For the last time, no zombies allowed. Can't you tell the difference between me and a feral? Fine. I'll show you the goddamn difference. Just you wait. You'll get yours, all of you! I thought I told you to get the hell out of here. Tenpenny doesn't want your goddamn caps. And I don't want the goddamn headache. For the last time, get your rotten, ugly, goddamn ghoul ass off Mr. Tenpenny's private property. What? No, just those damn ghouls. Sorry, thought you were one of them. Ghoul or not, I must inform you that you are trespassing on Alistair Tenpenny's private property. Renders an official business only. Is that so? And why should I believe that? You ever kill a ghoul before? Is that so? Then I'm sure you can handle yourself out there in the wasteland just fine. Are you done wasting my time? Perhaps you'll fit in around here better than I thought. All right. I'll take your money. But don't press your luck. I got my eye on you. Don't bother Tenpenny or the other residents. If you so much as sneeze in the wrong direction, I'll gut you. Welcome to Tenpenny Tower. Don't do anything stupid. What? That damn Roy Phillips won't take no for an answer. Keeps showing up, looking for a handout. He and his kind aren't wanted. End of story. If I were a betting man, I'd place a stack of caps on him trying something violent soon. And that would make Tenpenny nervous. I don't like it when Tenpenny gets nervous. But I can't spare the manpower to go hunt down Roy Phillips and his band of misfits, or I'd gladly end this thing once and for all.
Really? You? You're welcome to give it a try. But don't come crying to me when you get hurt. They've holed up in the nearby metro tunnels. They're living with packs of feral ghouls. Be careful. Roy seems damn close to turning zombie himself. I suppose you won't be doing this out of the kindness of your heart, hmm? How's 500 bottle caps sound? Payable upon termination of that damn ghoul, Roy Phillips, and all his followers. Well, maybe you're right. It was something I was going to have to do eventually anyway. How about another 200 caps? And here, you can take this rifle and ammo. But you better not screw this up. Roy Phillips and his gang are somewhere in Warrington Station Metro Tunnels. They've barred the main entrance. Try going through the train yard. Ten Penny is always on time with the money. And we can get fairly comfortable digs with side benefits. He owns this building. We get our caps from him, and don't you forget it. I guess we could do a little trading. Here's what I got. Thanks. It's dark in those tunnels. Shoot first, and ask questions later. We are safe from the wasteland in here. I'm not here for your entertainment. Yes? You take care of those ghouls, yeah? Here's what I got. Another satisfied customer. Watch your back, and don't trust that Roar Phillips for a second. I would surely have perished if it wasn't for Mr. Tenpenny and his tower. Welcome to New Urban Apparel. I carry the finest in pre-war clothes. Hurry up, let's get you out of those old rags and into something fabulous. With my fashion sense and your bottle caps, there is no limit to what we can do for your image. I can't wait to get started. They were told they can't live here, but those zombies are too stupid to understand. They live in their own filth, squatting in the nearby metro tunnel. Security keeps shooting them, but they keep coming back. Hmm. You're certainly welcome to try, aren't you? Talk to Chief Gustavo. A very well-dressed gentleman, when he bothers to get dressed. He hardly ever leaves his penthouse suite. Only those deserving to live here can afford it. And let me tell you, those who do live in style. And you can thank me for that. I'm the resident guide to all things fabulous. And I'll tell you what isn't ever in style. Disgusting ghouls getting their rotting paws all over everything. <laughs> you bet. But who would dare touch them to give it to them? I only carry the finest garments. You must come back soon. There's no helping some people, is there? Tenpenny Tower is a wonderful place to live, isn't it? Morning. My name is Tiffany Ching. My miserable excuse for a husband is Comrade Irving Ching. And you can tell him I said so. Do you know he tried forming a committee to discuss the ghoul situation? A committee! He made himself chairman, of course. What we need is somebody to do something. 
not just talk about it. Don't suppose you know anything about ghouls, do you? Yeah, they make me nervous. They certainly are disturbing looking. They are living in the nearby tunnels. They scare me. Why doesn't somebody do something? Really? Chief Gustavo is going to want to hear about that. You should talk to him right away. It's very clean and safe here. Well, mostly safe. They say those ghouls won't get in, but I don't know. Bye now. Welcome to the Federalist Lounge. I'm Shakes. Wet your whistle. I see, sir. Very well. May I pour you a drink? Don't you worry about any such thing, sir. Care to wet your whistle? Care to wet your whistle? Cheers. I'm Michael Hawthorne. Who are you? And more importantly, should I care? Oh, fine. We'll have to share a drink sometime. I'm always in the Federalist Lounge. There's certainly plenty to drink about. Take those ghouls, for example. Don't suppose you know anything about dealing with their kind, do you? Really? Fantastic. You can give that Gustavo a lesson or two. We haven't discussed this already? Apparently, there's a pack of zombies living in the tunnels. Gustavo says he has it under control. On the bright side, it's given me another reason to hit the drink. Look around. What else is there to do? I would surely have perished if it wasn't for Mr. Tenpenny and his tower. Hey. Nice to see you. Doing well, I hope? I'm quite well, thank you. Welcome to Boutique La Chic. I'm Lydia Montenegro, proprietor. Here you'll find only the best, with a price tag you can boast about to your friends. Your taste in shopping venue is impeccable. How may I assist you? Tenpenny is a classy place. Just look at me. Look at my shop. Can't find top-shelf class like that anywhere else. Indeed, though Tenpenny has put a lot of work into restoring it, and he's hired security to keep us safe, but they seem to be having some trouble with a pack of ghouls living in the tunnels nearby. Don't suppose you've encountered many ghouls on your travels? I bet you could. Talk to Gustavo. He could use someone like you. You could kill those ghouls in the tunnels. Get rid of them once and for all. He stays in his penthouse suite most of the time. So long as we pay the rent, he lets us live here. My boutique has many unique items for the discerning customer. It's been a pleasure doing business. Charming. Welcome to Tenpenny Tower. Tenpenny Tower is a wonderful place to live, isn't it? I'm starving. starving for a little bite of something delicious. We are safe from the wasteland. Tenpenny Tower is a wonderful place to live, isn't it? We are safe from the wasteland in here.
Hey, be more careful. Doing well, I hope. Splendid. Simply splendid. Thanks so much for. Are you sure you don't you want to make behave. friends with the other ladies? Gustavo's you guards know, are swift to take care gossip of trouble. Or whatever it is, ladies like to do Good it together. To see you. Don't be silly. I know enough about them to make being friendly awkward at best. Introductions are in order. I am Mrs. Edgar Wellington. You may refer to me as Madam or My Lady Wellington. You're better mannered than your apparent breeding would indicate. It is nice to make your acquaintance. You didn't happen to catch a glimpse of any ghouls on your way in here, did you? That doesn't surprise me. You should talk to Gustavo. He might be able to use someone like you. Again with the ghouls! It's all anyone will gossip about. I can't help thinking about them. Doing things to us. Let's talk about something else. Really? How? Wait, I, I... I don't really want to know. It probably entails something wickedly awful. Just talking about it will give me the jeepers. Chief Gustavo will want to know you will help. He might even be able to offer you something for your troubles. Things haven't been the same since those ghouls showed up. Has everyone on edge? Bye! Yes? Edgar Wellington II, have you met my wife, Millicent? Hold on, who let you in here? <laughs> Very well, as long as security is aware of your presence. Can't be too careful these days, what with these ghouls and all. Gustavo says he has the situation well in order, but I wonder if he's really trying. Don't suppose you ran into any ghouls on your way in here? Indeed, loathsome creatures, aren't they? Someone really ought to put them out of their misery. You should talk to Gustavo about exterminating them. There's a pack of zombies living nearby in some old tunnel. They asked to move in, naturally. They were told to go to hell. Gustavo's hired some additional goons. Seems to be working. Still makes one a bit fidgety having those loathsome creatures around. I wouldn't even want them as slaves. Really? Well, it's your funeral, I suppose. You'll want to discuss it with Chief Gustavo first. It's the place to live, the only place one finds any modicum of civilization and breeding. Of course those ghouls are trying to move in here. Can you fancy that? Disgusting zombies? Living in a place like this? <laughs> really now? Farewell. You better not cause any more trouble. You better not cause any more trouble. Mr. Tenpenny isn't taking callers. Hold on there a minute. Oh, all right, I'll let you in, but if Tenpenny hollers because he isn't expecting you, you're dead. Now, fancy that! A visitor! I seldom get visitors, which is a tiresome shame, because I'm usually relentlessly bored out of my right mind. All of these confounded people fluster about like I'm made of eggshells and about to fall to pieces in any moment. I'm surprised they even let you in.
So, what do you think of my fine tower here? It's quite the jewel of the wasteland, isn't it? I dare say I'm quite proud of it myself. Right-o! Oh, when I saw this place jutting up out of the horizon, I knew what I had to do. I hired some muscle, and we got this place fixed up right quick. I had the great fortune to run into Mr. Burke, an absolute gem of a man. He certainly has a way of getting done what needs to get done, doesn't he? Then it was a matter of getting the right type of tenants with the right type of assets, and the rest is, as they say, history. I complained offhand one day about how I thought that heap of metal on the horizon was a bit of an eyesore. Mr. Burke offered to take care of it. Burke is such an agreeable man, isn't he? I don't know how I got along without him. I practically don't have to think about things any more. He takes care of everything. I seldom even have to ask. He's a real go-getter, that one. We need more men like him if we're going to rebuild the world. Well said, indeed. You've got the entrepreneurial spirit. It gives me hope to see young people such as yourself with real heads on their shoulders. Oh, it's impolite for a gentleman to talk about himself, but I'd hope this magnificent tower would speak volumes. Some might say Tenpenny Tower is my crowning achievement, but no, 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 my dear boy, it is just the beginning. Righto, run along now. Mr. Tenpenny isn't taking callers. Fine, bye. I am Comrade Cheng, beloved leader of the people, shining servant of the community. How can I help you? Thanks, Comrade. I'm sure you'll agree the people are only as strong as their leader. That's why I do my best to serve the community to the fullest. Speaking of service to the community, I don't suppose you are familiar with ghouls, are you? More importantly, how to kill them? I formed a committee to investigate the problem. That's wonderful, comrade. Truly wonderful. Before you go ghoul hunting, talk to Gustavo. He might be able to help you. I'm sure it will end in bloodshed. It's serious business, comrade. Excellent. Speak with Comrade Gustavo. He'll know what to do. Yeah, see you. Can I help you? I would surely have perished if it wasn't for Mr. Tenpenny and his tower. We are safe from the in here.
I'm on duty. Can't talk. Direct your security concerns to Chief Gustavo directly. Hey. Direct your security concerns to Chief Gustavo directly.
You there! Put your weapons away! Come over here! No funny business, unless you want to get shot. Not safe for your kind around here. It's your own funeral then. Just remember that when you die, you die alone. Then you just rot until some jackal comes and snacks on you. I've been stomping around with Roy and his gang of misfits. Roy's a no-nonsense, take-no-prisoners kind of guy. He heard about this tenpenny asshole, and now he's trying to get us in that tower. He's hatching some kind of plan to kill all those bigot bastards. Believe it or not, I used to vacation there. I wasn't always like this. I was a goddamn scientist. We were doing great things. Amazing things. Sure, sacrifices were required. Some people got hurt. But we were making real progress. But then those goddamn bombs dropped. Karma's a real bitch. You'd be wise to remember that. Figures. He's Tenpenny's adorable lapdog, isn't he? So what's your angle in all this? Karma's a fucking bitch, isn't she?
do you want? You better choose your next words really carefully, because you're starting to piss me off. You got balls. Really big ones. I'll assume you're kidding, because no one shit talks me and lives. We ghouls are just like the rest of you. Shit out of luck and doing our best to make it. Biding our time, making plans, getting ready. Tenpenny and his pack of elitist wannabes can't keep us out of that tower forever. We've got rights, and we'll take them if they aren't given to us. Ghouls aren't built for luxury and comfort, is that it? You think ghouls belong scurrying around in the dark dank underbelly of the wasteland? You got a lot of nerve. Not sure where you come from, kid, but out here in the wasteland everything's up for grabs. And you only get to keep what you can hold on to. Tenpenny didn't build that tower. He found it. And took it from whoever used to own it. Now we're gonna take it from him. We tried playing nice, but they shot at us. Fuck them. It's time for them and their bigot ways to die. Oh yeah? Fine. It's on.
and keep your panties on. Hi, I'm on duty. Can't talk. Direct your security concerns to Chief Gustavo directly. Huh. Didn't think you had it in you. Guess you proved me wrong. Good job. Knowing those ghouls are gone takes a load off my mind. Thanks. You'll be wanting the reward now, won't you? I suppose you've earned it. There's your caps. Contract fulfilled, debt paid. This don't mean we're buddies, all right? Now get going. I guess we could do a little trading. Here's what I got. Thanks. I still got my eye on you.
Yeah? Well, sure. We've got plenty for the moment. <laughs> the very best kind. Try some. You've never tasted sweeter, I'll warrant. Yeah, see ya. Good to see you. You're not one of them. I nearly blasted you in two. Get over here before they spot you. Now what the hell are you doing all the way out here? That's great, but I got bigger problems than being the town post office right now. The shit's about to hit the fan in this cesspool, and I don't think I can stop them. No way. If they were, you'd be staring at a burned-out ghost town. I think the family are just a bunch of punks. Well, at first, they do typical gang bullshit. You know, break stuff and make lots of noise. But they always kept their distance. But this last time, they went too far. They killed all of our Brahmin. I mean, that's our lifeblood out here, you know? Ah, look, you can call me crazy if you want. But there is something odd about those creeps. I mean, they got the guns and they got the muscle. Why don't they just bust down our doors and take us out already? We're really in a bad way and could use some help. I don't want to take my eyes off the ramp here. There's no telling when the family will return. Can you do me a favor and check on the other people's houses here? You know, make sure they're doing okay? Speak with Davis West, Karen Shenzi, and Ken Ewers. There used to be more families living here. Most of them have dismantled their shacks and moved on to greener pastures. Those that are still living here are keeping themselves indoors, thanks to the family. I think they live somewhere east or northeast of here. Problem is, they always travel in the dark, so I can't see exactly where they go. There's all kinds of places they could be hiding, like Hamilton's Hideaway, the old Moonbeam Cinema, or Northwest Seneca Metro Station. I can't take that. You're just going to have to bring it to the West yourself. 
Just watch yourself. I've got an itchy trigger finger. <laughs>